You wanted to see me? Yes, Sam. Come in. The Solaris 10 patching guy wasn't doing the job. I let him go, and I need you to replace him. But, but I'm, I'm the Linux guy. I don't know anything about patching a Solaris box. Solaris 10 patching should be a piece of cake for a talented guy like you. I hear you're a very resourceful sysadmin, Sam. Now, I want results, and I want them soon. Oh no, these results aren't going to help at all. Better get my passport in order. I'll have to broaden my search. Meet Sam. Sam is a system administrator who is determined to find the Solaris 10 patching expertise he so desperately needs. Sam travels to the ends of the earth, risking his life to locate a mysterious and solitary wise man whose whereabouts were a mystery until now. Hello, I've traveled very far in search of the answers to Solaris 10 patching. Can you help me, oh wise one? Bill, just call me Bill. What? Look, Solaris 10 patching is believed to be a complex, unanswerable riddle. But the truth is, my friend, that it is not the mystery it is made out to be. For Sun Microsystems has provided us with guidance. Philosophical point number one. First, use Solaris Live Upgrade to patch or upgrade an inactive boot environment. This will help you avoid much of the risk and downtime associated with patching the live boot environment. Philosophical point number two. Second, avoid patching live systems with zones when possible. The introduction of zones into Solaris 10 has introduced some challenges for patching. Philosophical point number three. Third, avoid dim sum patching. Um, Bill? But what is dim sum patching? Dim sum patching? Well, that's when customers run a combination of various Solaris binaries that have never been tested together. That's dim sum patching. If you have to go down this road, you Solaris Live Upgrade. You'll learn more about this in future adventures. Philosophical point number four. Fourth. Consistently apply Solaris 10 patching best practices. Oh, wise one, please share with me the best practices so that I may consistently apply them. Patience, my friend. You will learn about the Solaris 10 patching best practices in your next adventure. Book 2, The Quest or How I Learned to Love Solaris 10 Patching. Philosophical point number five. The last, very important point. Do not hesitate to seek guidance. Sun Microsystems' big admin website contains a great deal of information for system administrators, like you, on a variety of topics, patching included. Big Admin has a patching center where you can find documentation, patching blogs, and expert support. Big Admin even has a patching center that is dedicated to Solaris. You are not alone, my friend. You can become part of the large Big Admin community by signing up for the newsletter and joining in the blog discussions. Sun Microsystems and Big Admin are here for you. My word of advice to you is to take full advantage of the support that is offered and become an active part of the Sun Sys Admin community. I am done speaking. Let's see if I can remember the five philosophical points. Uh, number one, use Solaris Live Upgrade. Number two, Avoid patching live systems with zones when possible. 
Number three, avoid dim sum patching. Number four, consistently apply Solaris 10 patching best practices. And, um, oh, oh yes, number five, do not hesitate to seek guidance. Darn, I'm good.